Hey everyone, this is Michael again. Welcome to my review of tonight's edition of Monday Night Raw. And of course, uh, this was the go-home show for SummerSlam, which is this Sunday. And uh, I thought tonight's Raw, uh, it was from uh, Boston uh, tonight at the TD Garden. I thought tonight's show uh, was a solid show. Uh, really enjoyed uh, tonight's Raw. Uh, there was uh, meh stuff on it. But uh, it was a solid show. Was it perfect? No. Uh, but I thought it was a uh, I thought it was a good go home show. They hyped up uh, the matches that you know were going to be uh, are going to be fought at SummerSlam. Uh, there was uh, two matches uh, that uh, were on the SummerSlam card that they did tonight, uh, which we'll get to when I you know talk about you know when I talk about earlier on. Uh, what happened in the show earlier on so but uh yeah so the show opened with dean ambrose coming out uh saying you know what's going on with him and seth rollins and he ends up calling out seth seth ends up coming out saying that if they teamed up you know they could run raw you know as a tag team and uh, seth tells dean that he is done playing games and wants you know, he wants Dean to uh, give him a, a fist pound, just like how he did in the old days, you know, in the shield. You know, Dean starts thinking about it. And then uh, he ends up telling Rollins that after last week, you know, Rollins spat in his face, you know, when he walked out, you know, when Ambrose was trying to get, you know, Seth to do a fist pound. And uh, Seth tells him sometimes, you know, he doesn't trust himself. And that them, you know, teaming up again is a stupid idea. Then Seth says that whether they are fighting each other, uh, there is nothing that could stop them. Uh, then Dean or then offers a fist pound, uh, you know, just like last week. And then also like last week, Seth then you know declines. And then uh, they start bickering, and then Dean and Seth start taking out each other uh, in the ring. Then out came, out came Cesaro and Sheamus, uh, and they they come out and they start beating the hell out of uh, Seth and Dean. Uh, they toss Dean into the crowd, and they take Seth in the ring uh, to beat him down. Dean ends up coming into the ring. You know he gets up, comes into the ring, and he makes the save. But Cesaro and Sheamus end up taking uh, him down also again. And uh, what was really cool is that we saw uh, Seth jump from the top, you know, to take out Sheamus, uh, which was cool. And then Dean and Seth start working together and, you know, they end up both taking out Cesaro and Sheamus, uh, which was cool. And then they're just in the ring and then they do a fist pound, just like how they did in the Shield. And the crowd went nuts. Uh, that was a... Uh, that was a good moment, uh, really good, really great moment. Uh, you know, with the crowd cheering, you know, hyped up that you know they're seeing, uh, you know, Dean and Seth do the fist pound again. You know, just like in the Shield. So now it's the Shield 2.0 again. And then Kurt Angle comes out saying that at SummerSlam, uh, the tag team titles will be on the line, and it will be Cesaro and Sheamus versus Seth and Dean uh, for the titles. So. That was that's pretty awesome, and uh, it was a good segment. I really really enjoyed this segment. Then you know the crowd just going crazy when uh, Seth and Dean did the uh, the fist pound. Uh, that was awesome. I uh, really loved that. So, but it was a good segment. And then uh, we had the first match. It was Sasha Banks versus Nia Jax. Uh, the winner of this match. Gets to face Alexa Bliss for the Raw Women's Title at SummerSlam, and this was a entertaining match. This was a good match. Uh, pretty much at the beginning, Nia was dominated, and then uh, Sasha came back uh, later on and started taking out Nia. Uh, we saw Nia just throw uh, Sasha into the barricade, you know, from outside of the ring, and you know, just Sasha just kept on coming back later on in the match. Uh, she uh, locked in the bank statement uh, one time on Nia, 
And then, you know, Naya was, you know, trying to pin Sasha. And then, uh, you know, D Sasha countered with a DDT and then, uh, you know, locked the bank statement on Naya again, which led to her tapping out, which led to Naya tapping out. So Sasha wins the match. Sasha will face Alexa at SummerSlam this Sunday for the Raw Women's title. So that's going to be, uh, that's going to be good. But all in all, it was an enjoyable match. Uh, Sasha and Nia uh, really enjoyed it. Then uh, after that, uh, we see uh, Kurt Angle and the Hardys. Uh, they're just talking, uh, you know, saying that uh, the revival was going to be out. You know, it was supposed to be the revival versus the Hardys. And then Miz ends up coming in and says that, you know, what is Kurt going to make up for last week? Uh, you know, you know when Lesnar attacked uh, him and uh, Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas. And Kurt says, you know, he's not going to do nothing. And so Kurt says that Curtis is going to have his match tonight against Jason Jordan uh, because he didn't have last week because uh, of Lesnar. Because, you know, Curtis was hurt really bad from Lesnar. And... He tells Miz that any problem that he that he has, uh, he has to, that Miz is going to have to take it up with Lesnar. And then uh, Miz offers uh, to take on uh, Jason Jordan tonight. And uh, Ref comes in, uh, you know, after uh, Miz says that he's going to take on Jason Jordan tonight. A uh, ref comes in and tells Kirk that there is a problem with Finn and Bray, so it ends up going to commercial. And then when the show, then when Raw comes back from commercial, we see Finn and Bray just fighting backstage, brawling. And Kurt says to save it for SummerSlam. And, uh, you know, it looked like they, they didn't want to wait for SummerSlam. And then Kurt says, you know, let's not wait for SummerSlam because their match is going to, because then uh, their match is going to happen tonight. So tonight is gonna, it's going to be Finn versus Bray. So that was uh, one match that was going to happen. At SummerSlam. So, but does it? Do, do we get a match uh, with Frey, with Finn and Bray at SummerSlam? We'll just have to find out. And then uh, when uh, Raw came uh, back from commercial, they took the time to acknowledge uh, Ric Flair's, uh, you know, health issues. Uh, apparently, on Saturday. Uh, Ric Flair was taken to the hospital, uh, which the report said that it was something wrong with his heart. And, uh, you know, he was in stable condition. He was in a coma. And uh, today, uh, from what I read today, that they he went in for surgery. And uh, there was Mean Gene Oakland said on Facebook that uh, Rick was having a colon surgery. And uh, one person said it didn't, that this... Uh, that this surgery had nothing to do with his heart, but he still, but uh, he still remains in a stable in a stable condition in a coma, uh, Ric Flair, which I uh, read. But uh, hope he gets, you know, hope he gets really well. Hope he pulls through this. Uh, thoughts and prayers are with uh, Ric Flair's family. So hope he uh, pulls through. So and then after that. Uh, we saw uh, Elias in the ring, uh, just boring us with, you know, his singing. He was singing trash, you know, he was singing about trash and, you know, he was just trash in Boston. Then uh, R2 comes out doing his what's up, you know, thing. And then Elias just takes him out uh, with the drift away. So, so it was a really pointless, uh, really pointless segment. Then uh, after that, uh, Big Cass ended up coming out. Uh, he had the shark cage was in the ring, and uh, he, he got booed uh, really, uh, really bad. And it looked like he broke uh, character because it looked like he was gonna laugh, you know, for the crowd just you know booing loudly at him. The crowd booed him loudly, just like how they did uh, after when Roman Reigns uh, beat. Uh, Taker at WrestleMania 33 the next night on Raw uh, where uh, you know the next night on Raw the crowd just started booing the hell out of Roman and he wouldn't talk 
he wouldn't speak. Uh, the crowd wouldn't let Roman speak. This is how it was tonight with Big Cass, where the crowd was just booing him. Big Cass was trying to speak, but the crowd was just booing him loudly. It was really funny. And uh, he, Big Cass goes on to say that at, Summer, at SummerSlam this Sunday, it'll be Big Show versus him. And that, you know, when he talks, uh, when Big Cass talks, it matters. And when, you know, the crowd talks, it doesn't really matter. And uh, he goes on to say that Enzo needs Big Cass that Enzo needs Big Show when he doesn't have a tall guy there with him. And he says uh, Big Show needs Enzo because, you know, there is only him that he, that Big Cass is the uh, new seven foot uh, guy. And he says Enzo will be in the shark cage when uh, Enzo will get like a view of him destroying Big Show, a view of Big, a view of Big Cass destroying Big Show uh, Sunday at SummerSlam. And he's going to prove uh, at SummerSlam why he is the big guy. Enzo ends up coming out, you know, to, saying to Big Cass, you know, and mimicking him. You know, he was like, oh, are you seeing, are you still seeing stars from last week? You know, <laughs> when Big Show uh, knocked him out. And, uh, you know, Enzo just brings out Big Show. Uh, we see Big Show get on the apron to get into the ring, you know, to, uh, you know, to get to Big Cass. But uh, when Big Show gets in the ring, uh, he then gets attacked by Gals and Anderson. And so Gals and Anderson and Big Cass uh, were just stomping away on Big Show, taking him out. Uh, you had uh, Big Cass uh, booting Enzo twice uh, when Enzo was on uh, the apron. And then uh, we, saw, we saw Anderson uh, strap a belt on Big Show and... They were holding it uh, to the metal bars of the shark cage. And then just Big Cass just slams the door of the shark cage onto Big Show's hand. You know, injuring uh, Big Show's hand. So, it was a, uh, it was a decent segment. Uh, had some hype for, uh, had a little hype for that match. And then the next match was Akira Tozawa versus Neville for the Cruiserweight title. This was another match that was supposed to uh, be taking place at SummerSlam on Sunday. And uh, this was an awesome match. Really, really uh, enjoyed it. Uh, show, this match showed you know, the potential for Akira to uh, win the title. And it was just back and forth between uh, Tozawa and Neville. They put on a really uh, good match. Uh, you had uh, Neville uh, pretty much by the end of the match. Uh, he locked in the rings of Saturn on uh, Tozawa, but then Tozawa reversed it. Uh, you had Neville just, you had Neville going up to the top and, you know, trying to take out uh, Tozawa, but uh, Tozawa rolled out of the way. And then at the end of the match, uh, Tozawa, Tozawa went to the top and he just hit the Santan Bomb on Neville to score the win. Akira Tozawa is the new Cruiserweight Champion, which is awesome. Uh, really wish that this match would have took place uh, next week in Brooklyn because the crowd would have went nuts. Uh, but, you know, Neville, it was a good uh, title run for Neville. You know, Neville was holding the, uh, the Cruiserweight title ever since the Royal Rumble. So, but it's good. Uh, I'm happy that uh, Tozawa... Uh, is the new cruiserweight champion? He really uh, deserves it. So, and of course, uh, Tyrus O'Neil uh, was out there at a uh, ringside watching the match. But all in all, it was an awesome match. I really, really enjoyed it. And then uh, after that, we saw uh, WWE do uh, WWE Doctor and the Big Show and Enzo uh, were there. The WWE Doctor. Uh, said to Big Show that his hand is broken uh, because of uh, Big Cass, you know, slamming the door uh, of the shark cage onto his uh, hand. And uh, Big Show says to Enzo that, you know, there is no way in hell that he's going to be missing SummerSlam. So Big Show is going to still compete against Big Cass at SummerSlam Sunday. So see how that goes. A little hype for that match. Uh, Want to see it. 
And then after that, we had Mickey James and Emma in the locker room. Uh, Mickey says to Emma that, you know, she should step in the ring with her tonight. You know, with the whole uh, give Emma a chance thing. It was a little uh, locker room segment with them. And then uh, we had Bray Wyatt versus Finn Balor. And this was a good match. I uh, really uh, liked it. Uh, this was another match that was going to take place at SummerSlam. But uh, both uh, Bray and Finn put on a really awesome match. Uh, it was Bray uh, pretty much uh, going at it with Finn, uh, just dominating. And then we saw Finn dominate later on in the match. Then, uh, you know, in the end, uh, Bray Wyatt got the win with Sister Abigail on Finn. So, and then after the match, uh, we saw Bray Wyatt hit a second Sister Abigail on Finn. And, you know, the lights uh, go out. You know, the lights come back on. And we see Finn in the corner. And Bray has this bucket uh, that, he's car that he carried, that he has on him. And he just, and then Bray just dumps uh, this red uh, thing, this red liquid on uh, Finn. It looked like blood. It, you know, pretty much it looked like blood, but it looked like ketchup a little bit. So <laughs> there was one uh, comment that I saw that said, uh, "Raw is sponsored by Heinz ketchup," <laughs> because of that, because of that whole thing that uh, Bray. Uh, did with Finn where he dumped all where he dumped that sort of looking blood that looked like ketchup on Finn so but it was a good match uh, really enjoyed it and then we had Mickey James versus Emma which was pretty much a meh match uh, it was just a it was just near falls uh, through the match uh, wasn't really anything uh, great or good but uh, Mickey James got the win with the kick so it was Pretty much a nothing match. It was just near falls. And then after that, uh, we saw Finn coming out of uh, Kurt Angle's uh, locker room. Uh, and uh, he gets interviewed and Finn says that uh, he got his rematch, that Kurt uh, gave him his rematch with Bray at SummerSlam on Sunday. And he, Finn says that, you know, he's got his demons uh, just as... Bray has his, so that pretty much sets up that the, that Finn is gonna, you know, dress up as the demon, you know, with the face paint. So they could have kept, they should have kept that a secret though. But it was a little, uh, it was a little backstage segment with Finn. Then the next match, it was Jason Jordan versus The Miz. Uh, it was pretty, uh, it was pretty much, you know, decent. You know, as the match was going on. But then uh, the match uh, ended in the DQ because uh, uh, Curtis and Bo interfered. And the Hardys ended up coming out and taking out uh, Bo, uh, Bo, Dallas, Curtis, and Miz. So, and then uh, when Raw came back from the commercial, uh, it was the Hardy Boys and Jason Jordan versus Miz, Curtis, Axel, and Bo, Dallas. And what is that you say? What is that? A six-man tag? Yes, we got another six-man tag. I'm like, what is it with six-man tags this year? This been, there's been so many uh, six-man tags uh, this year. But this was a uh, this was entertaining because uh, the Hardy Boys and Jason Jordan. Jason Jordan uh, really impressed uh, me tonight. Uh, you know, does he is a good singles competitor uh, from uh, this, uh, but. It was just the Hardys and Jason Jordan just taking out Miz and Curse and Bo. And uh, they got the win, uh, the Hardy Boys and Jason Jordan, uh, with uh, Matt hitting the twist of fate. Uh, he tags in Jeff, and Jeff hits the uh, Swanton Bomb on Bo Dallas. Uh, you know, Matt first hit the twist of fate on Bo. Jeff hit the Swanton, the Swanton Bomb on Bo uh, to score the win. So, but... It was an entertaining match. You know, Jason Jordan really impressed me in this match. Uh, really am enjoying him. So, you know, away from, uh, you know, when he was with Chad Gable and American Alpha. So, but it was an entertaining match. 
And then we have the final segment of the night where Kurt Angle is in the ring to introduce Braun Lesnar, uh, Braun Strowman, Brock Lesnar, uh, Samoa Joe, and Roman Reigns for a face to face to face to face, you know, like a face down. And he hired security so nothing goes down. Uh, we saw a whole bunch of security uh, down there. Brock Lesnar ends up coming out, and, you know, Heyman, of course, gets on the mic saying that if. You know, Lesnar put Joe, Reigns, and Braun in the ring. Well, well, if Heyman put Joe, Reigns, and Braun in the ring with uh, Lesnar, all hell is going to break loose. And Heyman goes on to say that Joe desperately wants the title and, you know, Braun won't be winning the title. Uh, and then he talks about Roman Reigns. It was a long, uh, it was a long, uh, you know, talk that uh, Heyman gave. Uh, a long uh, promo that he cut. And then Joe ends up coming out saying that he doesn't fear Lesnar. And at SummerSlam, uh, when he comes for the title, he's going to rip the title off of Lesnar and put him to sleep. Braun ends up coming out saying that he's a last man standing. Uh, Joe says to Braun that Roman was stomping him all over the building last week while you know he put uh, Lesnar down, while he put uh, Roman down. Then uh, Roman ends up coming out. He then spears Joe. Braun hits Roman with a run and power slam. And that was just Lesnar and Braun. Uh, just both of them stand in. Lesnar and Braun go, uh, you know, go at it. But the security pulls them back, you know, to not let them fight. And then, you know, they just start taking out the security. Lesnar takes out the security. And then Kurt sends out uh, the locker room to separate the both of them. And uh, that's how uh, the show ended. And, you know, it was just, you know, Lesnar and Braun just going at it uh, really crazy. And then the show ended. Uh, it was awesome face-to-face uh, -face, uh, down with uh, them. You know, had some hype for uh, their match for their Fatal 4-Way Sunday. I uh, was looking forward to. So, yeah. So, anyways, that's it from my review of tonight's edition of Monday Night Raw. Uh, this was from Boston from the TD Garden. Uh, thank you all for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. And the, like I said in my previous video when I did the uh, the Raw uh, after SummerSlam ticket unboxing that there won't be a Raw review next week because I am going to Monday Night Raw next week at the Barclays Center. So there will be no review next week. But there will uh, be a vlog of me vlogging from uh, Raw. And, uh, but yeah, so that's it for this video. Stay tuned uh, tomorrow night for my SmackDown review. So I'll see you all back here tomorrow night. Bye.